In this learning bite for Windows Small Business Server 2011 Essentials, we'll take a look at managing storage and adding capacity to your server. So to get started, we'll check out the Server Folders and Hard Drives tab here in the dashboard. As we can see, for all of our shared folders, the drive location is the D drive. We can also see the physical hard drives that are installed in the server on the Hard Drives subtab. And we can see again that we have the C drive, which is the system drive, as well as the D drive, which is where all of our data is currently being stored. We can go ahead and view the hard drive properties, which gives us a couple of different options. We can run the drive cleanup wizard, similar to what you would see in uh, the Windows client. Also, we can run a check and repair. Now, this is the same check disk functionality uh, that you may be familiar with. You can run a check only, or you can run a check and do an automatic repair. If you look at uh, doing an automatic repair, the hard drive will be uh, taken offline. So you'll want to do that when the server is in a maintenance window so that your users won't be impacted. So this just takes a few minutes and then you can see if there are any issues uh, with the drive. Also, you can define whether or not shadow copies are turned on for the volume. You can learn uh, more about shadow copies here with this link. In general, uh, if you're using the volume to store data, shadow copies make it very easy for end users to go ahead and recover from accidentally deleted or overwritten files. So uh, a, a really great feature and uh, typically you would leave that turned on unless you're using the volume for maybe uh, scratch data, uh, temporary data that you don't need that functionality. Now the next thing I wanted to show was the idea of really easy uh, adding capacity to your server. When you add a new physical drive, whether you simply connect a, a new drive to a USB port, Firewire port, or whether you're installing a new drive internally, um, you'll get an alert in the dashboard that says that you have some new uh, hard drive space that you can take advantage of. Now in order to do that, the SPS server is going to need to format that hard drive and give it a drive letter. So you can quickly and easily do that right from the alert. It will give you information about the drive you added in my demo environment. This is gonna be a virtual disk, but in your environment, it will give you some additional information about that. Then it will go ahead and format the drive. Uh, all very easy to do and, and straight from the dashboard console. So really providing a streamlined, simplified uh, administration experience. So now our hard drive has been formatted and ready to use. We don't have any more alerts in the console, so we'll go ahead and close the alert center. And here we can see that the dashboard has refreshed and we can see the new E drive that we have. Now we can quickly take advantage of this by going back to the server folders tab. And for any of the shared folders that we have, we can actually go ahead and select that and now choose to move the contents of that folder. So when we do this, we get a little introduction like we do in all of the SBS wizards telling us uh, what this wizard is gonna allow us to do, which is basically move that data. And then on the next screen, we can see the drives that are available for moving the data. So it's on the D drive currently. Let's go ahead and select that new E drive and move the folder. Now, depending on your uh, physical configuration, how much data that you're moving, this will take a few minutes. Now, the last step really key in the move folder wizard is it's gonna give us an indication that we should uh, update our backup configuration as necessary. Now we just added new capacity to the hard drive. So let's go ahead and open up the server backup configuration so that we can make sure that that new physical drive is going to be backed up. So we're gonna go ahead and change our server backup settings. We're gonna go ahead and continue to use the backup destination that was already defined and we're gonna leave that same label. We're also going to leave our uh, backup schedule as it was, but at this point we need to come and select that new physical hard drive to make sure that the contents of that volume are getting uh, protected as part of our automated backups. Go ahead and apply those settings. And really that's everything that we need to do to manage our storage and to increase capacity in the uh, SBS 2011 Essentials environment. So thank you for watching this Learning Byte, and I hope you will join us for future videos.